What's up, y'all? It's Dre Ngozi here with the one and only Mahalia. Let's just get right into it. So you've been doing music basically your entire life. Yeah. So you wrote your first song at eight years old? Yeah. So what, <laughs> where do you get inspiration as an eight year old? Like, how are you writing about love and, and heartbreak? It was actually mostly, I would say mostly like American TV. I was watching a lot of Disney and a lot of Nickelodeon. And I was just obsessed. When you're a kid, because there's not a lot of drama in your life anyway, you're searching for drama. I think I just really wanted to have that narrative. So your album titled Love and Compromise. Yes. What does that really mean for you? When I started writing a record, in my head it was like, I would never change for a guy. When I got to the end of it, I realized compromising in love it's just showing respect for your partner. Is vulnerability important to you and, and has it always been easy for you? Oh no, okay. oh my God, no. <laughs> I went through a really bad heartbreak like two years ago and it was my first one. Okay. And I was like, oh my God, this is, <laughs> is the this worst pain. Like? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it fluctuates okay. and I think my vulnerability just continues to kind of go up and down. The life of an artist is really taxing, you know, emotionally, mentally, physically. Do you have any kind of go-to practices to kind of maintain a healthy well-being? I started going to Pilates. I stopped coffee this year. Okay. Coffee was kind of messing up my yeah. vibe. So last question, it's a fill in the blank question. Okay. It goes, music makes me... <gasps> That's a great one. Um, I think I just say emotional, like in all different ways. Music is the one thing that can kill me, um, but can also make me feel amazing. 